Hey, Ben Kaiser here, jobsinthefuture.com, and today you want to know the difference between a graphic designer and a digital artist. Now, the confusion comes with how many skills graphic designers are now adding to their resumes. They're promoting that they can do illustration, layout, web design, and different graphic design skills. As a graphic designer, I have really enjoyed layout design, web design, advertising, marketing, social media marketing, and, and the list kind of goes on and on. But for in order for you to get a base understanding, let's take it back to when graphic design first was getting started so we can define these two differences. When graphic design was first getting started, they would basically cut and paste pieces of paper in order to create layouts. So they would cut out um, different pieces of artwork. They would cut out letters and shapes, and they would piece them all together to create a presentation, to create an ad, etc. So that's the basis of graphic design, is to cut and paste things together. Now that has gone into the digital format with computers, and you're using InDesign or Illustrator to cut and paste different layouts and designs together. All right, now what is a digital artist? A digital artist is somebody who is an artist like somebody would be on a pen and paper or a canvas with paint, except they do it in the digital format. They use Photoshop or Illustrator to create illustrations, or digital art. The difference between a digital artist and a graphic designer is one is dealing primarily with the laying out documents, creating the way things are presented. And the other one is creating the art that the graphic designer will then present within say a magazine article or a marketing material piece. And you landed on this video because you're interested in graphic design. And if you're wanting to go from uh, uncertain beginner to expert, lynda.com has some incredible tutorials. It's where I've learned a ton of my skills via graphic design, web design, etc. So definitely use that resource and check that out. I'll post a link below this video and you can take a look at that. I hope that helps your questions. Please comment below. I would love to follow up with you with any of your comments or questions. Thanks for tuning in today. Please hit that like button that is very helpful to this channel. Subscribe here and stay up to date on all of the recent posts. And we'll see you here on the next episode, jobsinthefuture.com.